Well, hi there, and uh, welcome back to Outsmart. Uh, my name's Pierre. I'm a fisherman and a pensioner, and it is what's it, Wednesday today. There's quite a few trailers in the trailer park, so all of the guys taking time off work. But the weather has been quite volatile, and it looks like this afternoon, it's lunchtime now, this afternoon, 20 past 11, looks like this afternoon might be a nice calm day. So we'll go out and have a look. Um, boy, I've missed this. I mean, why wouldn't you? Oh, we steamed out here to the trenches. Uh, we've got Rocky Bay over there, we've got Beaches Morito over there. There's a rainstorm on the mountains. Uh, it's quite pleasant out here now, so we'll see if we get some rain. We're on the spot that I've marked. We'll just circle around a bit and see if we can find it. So I dropped the anchor. There was a little bit of activity on the fish finder. And uh, we'll drop the anchor, we'll have a look. It's nine and a half meters deep, it's 19 degrees. Um, I'm going to try out the new rod. Thank you, Henrico, and thank you, Sheena. This should be interesting for today, the first time. It's Nakuma, um, seven foot, six to ten kilogram, and a nice, light little rod, beautiful little reel, an Ultra uh, Akuma Ultra reel, four bearings and it was spooled as well and um yeah thank you henrico and sheena and thank you cliff at uh, top catch half moon bay he did a good deal for me too so when you go and see cliff at top catch tell him pierre sent you and see if he can do you do you a deal well, let's get some bait done have a look eh? so we've got a couple of pulchards that i've been that i got from top catch as well and just sliced up a small little piece like that. I'll put that on, send it down, and see if we can get any, attract any fish. The fish find has gone quiet, of course, now that we've stopped, but we'll attract them. Fingers crossed. So, we've got a couple of pulchards that I've been that I got from Top Catch as well, and just sliced up a small little piece like that. I'll put that on. Send it down and see if we can get any, attract any fish. The fish find has gone quiet, of course, now that we've stopped, but we'll attract them. Fingers crossed. GoPro stop recording. So I've got the second rod down and it's quite warm, so I thought I'd just get a bit more comfortable. And there was a bit of activity on this rod. We'll wind up and have a look. Yeah, I think he's still there. Oh, yeah, he's still there. But the first fish. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> fish on! I haven't felt this for the 10 days at Wongamata. Look at that. Oh, gosh. That's not a bad feeling at all. Look at that. First fish of the day. And he's half decent. Gosh, that is just beautiful. Have a look at that. That's just stunning. Look at the colours on that. Gosh. And he's oh he's 30 centimetres. But being the first fish of the day, see you later, mate. Oh, and he's gone. What a start. So I got the rods down again and managed just to get my change my shirt, take the thermal off. I was getting quite warm. And this one's gone off again. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> ah, there's nothing there. Out of interest. So I got it down and I haven't even got. Gosh. No time for anything here. Fish on! This one feels a bit better. Every drop, it's going to be one of those days. 
gosh, I can't believe no one else fishes in this area. And I keep telling people, I've been fishing here for years, years. Ooh, something interesting here. Another one of those. Oh, shame, I hooked him in the eye. I'll let him go. So I got the new rod up and the bait had gone on that, obviously. Put some more bait on it and gosh, I've only got a three ounce sinker and look how thin this rod is. It seems like it's so, so light. Had a little bit of interest. But gosh, that's just the sinker that's pulling it down like that. So I've got a bite on the little rod, the new rod. He seems small, because but this is a very light rod, so... Let's have a look. Crossing the new rod. Woo -hoo -hoo. Fish on number three for the day. But he's either very, very small. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Look at that. The smallest snapper of the day. Just gorgeous. So, that little fish there is just beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Man, he's just gorgeous. Off you go, buddy. Well, this is a serious bite. It's taking a line on the the light rod, if he's still there, yeah I think he's still there, I'll just crank up the, the drag a bit, oh yeah, gosh, such a light rod, yeah come here, oh, no colour yet, See what it is very light rod very light tackle and he doesn't even, the fish doesn't feel heavy so i don't think it's a big fish but he's putting up a fight so just getting used to this very soft rod very very soft rod gosh oh there we got we got color we got color and i'll tell you what i tell you what that is that is a keeper that is a keeper and on this light or light tackle that was just awesome 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 good rod thank you henrico thank you sheena great rod and on top of that i've just snapped the braid gosh there was a lucky lucky to land him so that fish there look at that 44 centimeters ladies and gentlemen 44 centimeters guess what we're having for dinner tonight <laughs> and i haven't even fixed the line on the other rod and this one's going off fish on <laughs> so we've got a 44 centimeter one in the bin this is a heavier rod and it feels half decent have a look at this what have we got here oh yep snappy but too small uh, and it looks like we're on again oh gosh but they feel so light uh, i can't believe how light this rod feels it's just awesome we're on again It's almost like delicate. I'm so scared I might break the rod. It's just so light. But it doesn't feel like a big fish. But then again, neither did the last one. So here we've got the leader. Oh no, he's not a keeper. But wow, what good fun. Look at that. Yeah, so while I baited that one and send the down again, there's action on this rod. But have a look at this. This little kawai, look what he's done to my rig. And that rod's going off, so you'll have to wait for another time. I'm busy with the little rods gone. Fish on! Woo -hoo -hoo. It just doesn't stop. And again, no, he feels he's gone. He's gone. Oh, I can't believe how light this rod feels. All gone. Right, let's get this one down and hopefully give me a minute or two to deal with the little ivy on the bottom of that run. It made a mess there. Gosh. All, all on today. All right, put that in there. Let Mr. Rod hold a fish. And let's deal with this fella. Look at this. 
my gosh, look what he's done to my line. Oh, it's gonna take forever to undo. He's hooked himself well and truly, twisted himself. But he'll make a decent, a decent uh, bait. We'll use him. But meanwhile, I've got to undo this bird's nest. Look at this. Uh, we're on again. Put on the light rod. Fish on. <laughs> he doesn't feel big, but he didn't take long to get bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Not a keeper. Uh, not again. Fish on. No, I think he's gone this time. Oh, look at that. One of the few occasions we didn't land him. And we're on again. Feels a bit better. But again, hard to tell. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not quite a keeper, but gosh, look at that. Right, here we go. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Fish on! Woohoohoo! Oh, no. He let go! He let go! Oh, gosh, that was a big hit. Gosh! And we're on again. Ah, uh, it doesn't take long. He's a snappy. I don't think he's a keeper. Gosh, we're getting a lot on them this size. Look at that. Too small, but just beautiful. So a bit of action on that rod, but we'll go down and have a look. Uh, here's the new rod, brand new rod, took a knock and it snapped immediately, something took it and snapped it, so much for the new rod, I'll be checking, testing the Akuma uh, warranty, gosh look at that, just boom boom boom, snap, so that must have been something fairly big because we've got that 44 centimeter snapper of this rod, we landed it, and my baits are intact. So something took it and snapped the rod in two places, look at that. Gosh, and the baits are intact. But look at that, something took the sinker. Unreal. Well, I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed in this rod. That is, that is just, uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing. All I can say. Never mind. I'll carry on fishing with the other Akuma. But have a look at that. Something's coming through. Oh, got something running around the boat, around the anchor. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, under the anchor. Running, let's see if we can... Oh, gosh, gosh, he might have to go under the anchor. Where is he? Uh, he's running around the anchor. We need to just change the rod around. There we go. Got him again. Oh, and he's running. Oh, he's running. Whatever he is, he's big. Yo, good stuff. Look at this. Look at this. He's running. Oh, there he is. 
Oh, we've got ourselves another small, it looks like a hammerhead. A little hammerhead. Unreal. Look at that. Look at that. Nice little hammerhead. Gosh, and he's not that small. Don't often see them. He nearly bust me off around the anchor rope. Gosh, look at that. Well, that is bizarre. So I'm not sure how we're going to get rid of him. Um, oh, yep, he's, uh, he's angry. He's angry. Look at that. Unreal, Mr. Hammerhead. Oh dear, okay, let's see what we can do to get rid of him. Well, that was a bit of fun and a bit of exercise. I, I eventually cut the hook off, cut the line off right at his mouth. So I sent him home with a with a piercing, but that'll rust out. He'll survive. But I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but maybe that's what hit the lighter rod earlier today and broke and snapped it. Because this guy put up a fight and he wasn't even that big. Anyway, so I think it's uh, the wind's getting up and a bit of a swell coming through, so maybe it's time to pack up and head home. We've got one 44 centimeter snapper in the bin, so that's enough for dinner tonight. And uh, caught heaps, but no keepers. Well, we're gonna give it a wrap. Um, the wind has picked up a bit and there's a bit of a chop coming through. So it's gonna be a bit of a, a wet ride home, I think. A bit of a rough ride, a bit of a wet ride. Um, other than that, great day out in the water. Or plenty of snapper of course nice big 44 centimeter snapper we took home taking home for dinner tonight and of course that um, hammerhead shark that was just something out of something interesting something different um, yeah heaps of fresh we threw back just gone low tide so fish have stopped biting and as I said the winds got up and it's getting quite rough so we're call of a wrap so again, as usual, um, if you enjoyed the show, please like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it, and share as well. But otherwise, we'll catch you next time. GoPro stop recording.